So this, uh, this week we're going to be talking about smart cities and uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have the CEO of Connect Things with us. Leticia Gazelle Antoine is my, is my uh, attempt at pronouncing your name correctly. Is that reasonably close? Good. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so can you tell us what uh, Connect Things does? I think you are a remarkable beacon company because you're like over 10 years old and uh, most beacon companies never get that far. I'm assuming you started what you do uh, before beacons uh, existed. Uh, can you give us an overview of, uh, of what Connect Things does? Yes, we. So uh, you're right. I founded Connect Things ten years ago, and uh, with the vision that uh, we can uh, uh, create interaction between people and the city uh, through through their smartphone, and uh, to push the best uh, content to the end user in their in their environment, uh, we use technologies. So not only beacons that uh, we use today, but also QR code, NFC. We also work on geofencing. Uh, so th th this is more a matter and vision about uh, uh, connected cities uh, that can uh, pro provide services in uh, to to people when they need it. So, um, what was the original problem that you started solving, and how has that evolved to to today, to 2018? I imagine that it's changed a bit. Yes, you're 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 perfectly right. Um, we, we start with a, a very uh, um, uh, um, uh, focus approach on uh, transport and uh, mass transit, uh, public transportation, uh, where we help them to 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 provide better information um, to the commuter when uh, they uh, need it. Uh, and a very simple use case that we have uh, deployed in uh, uh, tens of cities in uh, Europe uh, is uh, uh, to have at the bus stop a QR code, NFC, uh, and also Wi-Fi URL, a tiny URL that will um, provide inf uh, uh, access to a, a, pages, a page that is um, created for the need of the bus stop, uh, for the need of the end user. But, corresponding to the bus stop. So uh, uh, this is a way we provide uh, all the next uh, bus time, for example, to the end user uh, uh, corresponding to their bus stops. Um, um, yeah, this so is where we start. That, that sounds like a very practical application. People want to know when the, so would you tell them when the bus is coming and uh, yeah. that sort of thing? Exactly. So we, we are in the field of uh, obviously technology like uh, NFC QR code, but also aggregating uh, uh, web services, uh, real time data from uh, these uh, uh, transport operators and managing the, 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 all the database about the bus stops or other, other uh, assets in the city that want to provide real time information when people are um, at, the, at this specific place. How many cities have deployed your services? Oh, I would say this this specific services on transport. We are uh, we have 50 cities that have deployed uh, them on the bus stop. So we have in our database a lot of uh, uh, data about the bus stop itself, but also all the real time information around the bus stop. So it's not only uh, next buses; it's also traffic uh, perturbation. It's also weather forecast. So it's a set of uh, data that provide a context uh, to this. Uh, uh, physical assets in the city that can be, uh, as I mentioned, bus stop or subway entrance or a, a monument or totem in the city that provide touristic, touristic uh, information. So this is a kind of um, places that we uh, uh, will create interactivity. And I imagine that uh, you're starting to focus on the states. You obviously, from your accent and your name, you started in France and you were based in Paris, which has you know, yeah. a wonderful metro system. You've you're now in New York on Madison Avenue, which also has an amazing subway uh, system. Um, you know, what's, uh, what is your geographic strategy? I'm assuming you've got a good base of cities in France and Europe. Yeah, so um, in 2012, we um, opened new office in the, in the rest of uh, Europe, uh, Spain, Portugal, Italy, uh, the UK. In 2015, uh, we had uh, the, the beacon technology to the set of uh, technologies that we manage in ConnectX platform. Uh, and it allows us not only to provide uh, uh, mass transit 
information at investor, but also to open a, a, net, a beacon of network to any mobile application that want to benefit about the information uh, this guy is waiting at the bus stop. If you want to engage with him, uh, then we can deliver you the moment information. 2015 was a time where we we uh, we um, uh, add this technology, so this business model to the platform, and uh, um, uh, all the uh, network uh, that we have with QR code and NFC. Then we add Beacon Network. All right. Uh, because so that's opened up some uh, business possibilities beyond just providing utility for the passengers. You essentially, it looks like you have an ad platform that's come out of that. We are not doing advertising at Connect Things, uh, but we are uh, with, uh, um, providing information to mobile application itself so they can create more engagement and specific points. Just to take an example, in the gaming industry, uh, people spend time in gaming and uh, one third of this time is in uh, uh, public transport or commuting. So knowing that uh, someone is just waiting at the bus stop is uh, good information for this kind of application, news and so on. So this is uh, where we make money. What, what have you seen in terms of people's willingness to engage using those different hooks that you described? using? the QR code, the NFC, and, and, and the beacons. I imagine it, it varies based on the geography that you're in, but it would be great to get yeah. some insight so, into what you've learned. That, that's, a, that's a very interesting question. So we, we, um, even if a QR code is um, uh, not the most popular uh, technology because it's a little bit uh, difficult to use, uh, we have uh, in uh, cities, uh, in some cities in, uh, in Europe, uh, good traction. Uh, because the service at the end is useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if you need to scan a QR code, that is not so simple. Uh, you have a, uh, the, 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 the service is well explained and uh, the, the, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really used at the bus stop. NFC tag is less used. Even if the user experience is uh, in a way better, as, we, as iPhone is not uh, on today open to uh, NFC tag reading, uh, we have to wait for that to, to, to find a success Mm -hmm. in NFC tag. But for me, the user experience is uh, very interesting with NFC tag. So for me, uh, even if this technology, so technology was uh, very popular years ago, <laughs> and now uh, we, we, we see that it's used for payment, but we don't speak a lot about NFC. I'm sure that uh, uh, NFC and NFC tag reading has a big future. Need to have iPhone on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great user experience um, when the phone supports it. And, and, and I think people think, oh, yeah, iOS now supports NFC, and it kind of does, but it sounds like it doesn't support it in a way that you need. Uh, yes. Can you explain yes. what's, what's missing? Yes, uh, iOS uh, is open for payments, so NFC transaction part with Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. uh, NFC tag reading, so it's a little difference, it's uh, where your phone is reading the tags, it's not uh, your phone read by the reader, so it's really your phone reading a, a, a tag that is, for example, a uh, stick on the bus stop or on a uh, shop display or this kind of thing. So here uh, you need to um, uh, iOS support it, but just through mobile application that have integrated NFC tag reading feature. And, uh, and uh, what would be uh, great is when <laughs> Apple uh, will open it to um, any, so you don't need to have any mobile application, it's inside. So the tag reader is uh, inside. And, uh, and um, I'm sure that when uh, uh, this will happen, the usage of, uh, uh, of NFC tag reading will be great. So we yes. are ready for that because we have a lot of uh, NFC tags uh, in uh, big cities in, 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 uh, in Europe. So, so the, um, uh, I guess the lesson is um, really you can't assume that people have the cities app loaded uh, for, for this to really work, people need to be able to tap on an NFC tag, have it go to a URL, go to a website, and then maybe they'll download the, the app. Are you, are you finding, uh, are cities trying to get people to install an app, or are, are cities kind of recognizing that this is... Uh, you know, too big a lift for them. It's just too hard. Yes, it's it's not it's not. Uh, I think that uh, yeah, the city will not push uh, 
people to download an application to read a tag, so it's too complex. So yeah. really, uh, if we want, to, it's, it's, it will be a lot of effort for, uh, I would say, a low result to engage with people. Uh, to so, so I think that really the, the, the solution is to have it uh, embedded in the device OS, and uh, um, yeah, that's it. So, so you have um, um, over 100,000 beacons deployed, you're in over 60 cities. How many people are on your team? How many people work at Connect Things? So we have 40. You have 40 people. So that's, that's, uh, that's quite a payroll. You're supporting a lot of families there. How are you generating the revenue these days? I think you kind of set the scene about where you started off over 10 years ago. How, tell us a little bit more about the applications and the use cases that cities are, are, are wanting to deploy and you know, wh where's the money, frankly? Where, does, mm, where do mm. you see the revenue mm. coming from? Mm. Mm. So uh, that's true that uh, uh, cities are not um, very easy to, um, uh, so it takes very a lot of time to, to sign a contract with the city. Um, and but the, the good news is that once they have signed with you, they have signed, signed for years. So we have some contract uh, the, the, from uh, five to thirteen years, and uh, we have a uh, license per year uh, that are pay and that is paid per per uh, city. Okay, so and, that's, um, a good, that's a good business model. And and so what are the other things that they're asking you to enable beyond uh, public transport? Yeah, so we have this, uh, as I mentioned, uh, NFC QR code pool solution, mm -hmm. and, and, um, and that we, 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 we sold to, um, uh, to cities and public transport, and we had uh, beacons uh, that allow us to uh, provide push uh, features to mobile applications. So not only the mass transit application, so that pays subscription per year, but also other applications that want to uh, use uh, the moment or the, 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 the places, uh, the knowledge that we know that someone is at uh, this place in the city. So, and we sell to them uh, a subscription uh, to uh, take benefit of this information. Okay, so you're providing data to them about their, their citizens, is that right? Yeah, in, in real time. That means that when someone is uh, uh, arriving at the bus stop, we, uh, 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 an application that subscribes to our solution will uh, get the information. Uh, this person it has, is at this bus stop, next bus is in 10 minutes, and the weather is, uh, is uh, so it's sunny today. So uh, with this information, uh, a bike application, for example, will uh, uh, can engage with the user to tell, oh, by the way, you can take, uh, uh, you have one minute to walk away, uh, a bike that can, uh, for you, so, so, so they can uh, do a new uh, drive. Okay. Uh, so I, I know um, uh, a lot of cities are starting to adopt climate action plans in this country and presumably in in, uh, in in France as well, is that driving your business at all? I imagine that um, th there's a you know mayors are under pressure to reinvigorate public transport to get people out of cars onto bikes onto buses. Is that helping you? Yeah, I think that uh, what uh, here in the US uh, and also in Europe, so we, we arrived in the US two years ago, and uh, what is very interesting is that, uh, yes, in Europe you have more uh, mass transit system than in the US, but uh, here in the US you have uh, all uh, what happened around the uh, autonomous uh, vehicles, car sharing solution, uh, bike sharing and so on, you have a lot of new services and new transportation modes that are uh, um, uh, coming very fast. And you have big city like Los Angeles, where the, the car is uh, king, yes. uh, where, where they want to push them, uh, uh, Los Angeles as a new, um, the city of the new transportation mode, including car sharing solution, uh, carpooling, and, and so on. So this is why the U.S. are very interesting today, because uh, uh, with the booming of a new transportation mode, uh, you uh, 
when you go back home uh, from your office to home, you uh, usually take uh, your car or you take the subway. You just have one transportation mode. Or, um, uh, and uh, now, in fact, you, you, you could have uh, several. So you can take a bike, you can take a, share a car with a friend or with a colleague, you can uh, uh, take the mass transit system. So you have a lot of, of uh, uh, different uh, modes uh, that uh, you will make a choice depending on the time it takes to you, uh, uh, the cost, and uh, maybe to, yes, the, the, the person with who you can go back home. So this is why uh, I think what's happening here in the US is very, very interesting. And obviously, uh, I think that uh, uh, people are more uh, uh, concerned about uh, climate, pollution, and so on, and probably less uh, uh, interested in uh, owning their own car. So what are the apps that are using your beacons? We talked about the fact that NFC and QR codes have the advantage of not um, needing beacons, but you've got over 100,000 Bluetooth beacons out there. Are they... Um, are they broadcasting uh, physical web IDs or is it mainly iBeacons? What, uh, what are people using the beacons for? So it, it depends. So in, in some cases we have uh, uh, both. In some cases just iBeacon is, is uh, used, so it depends. Uh, Sometimes uh, physical web is used to, uh, to push uh, uh, um, uh, application uh, uh, store uh, URL and down, so to download the app of the mass transit, for example. So, so is it mainly the mass transit apps that you're uh, using the beacons to trigger? Are these beacons uh, static beacons or are they so, actually on the bus? Uh, we have some on the bus, but I would say that the main use case we have is static bus stop on places, physical places that are not moving. Okay. And uh, we, uh, it's not only mass transit system that use our applications, so we have several like uh, Madrid transport application, uh, uh, Paris transport application, uh, City of Lyon transport application, all these uh, mass transit system applications uh, use our beacon network. But it's not, not only them, we have a bike sharing application that use uh, our system also in the city of Paris. Uh, we have uh, all in France um, uh, application like CAB, like uh, uh, the name is Le Cab, it's an uh, Uber-like application that is uh, uh, very successful in France. So they use our beacon at the bus stop to trigger uh, their application when there is a, a, a car uh, just uh, close to the, the, the bus stop so they can do a new drive. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have other applications that are more on the um, entertainment uh, about what's around me, uh, what uh, uh, show the, are playing tonight, and, uh, and, and this kind of application. So we, we have already, already uh, more than 3 million uh, mobile applications that have uh, our uh, SDK inside to interact with Beacon in the cities uh, that, uh, that uh, we have deployed. And uh, here in the US, we have also um, Beacons deployed uh, in Times Square, uh, in New York, uh, several <laughs> in other uh, parts of New York, uh -huh. and also in the city of Austin, uh, Texas. Oh, okay. So it's New York and Austin so far. And, and are those beacons um, under the... Uh, d does the city own those or do you own them? We, are, we own them. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what beacon hardware do you use? Uh, are you uh, making your own or uh, do you use other people's? No, no. Uh, as I said, uh, we 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 uh, we are not uh, hardware manufacturer. We use yeah. several technology like NFC tag, uh, sticker for QR code, and beacons, and uh, uh, so we, we we buy them to several. Uh, we are we are not uh, just one provider. So um, we okay. have some in the US, so some in China, some in uh, Europe. So okay. depends of where we deliver the beacons. So I imagine. Uh, America is obviously an important market to you. You've, you've done very well in France. Um, uh, I think you alluded to this earlier. Uh, America and public transport aren't kind of the two things that go together. I think, A, it's a huge country, and it, it just seems like it's a different culture. If you go on the bus in San Diego, it's, it's not like where you go to rub shoulders with the movers and the shakers. The, the elite are not on the bus. They're in the... In, in the car. Is that a, 
you know, is that a, solv a solvable problem from your perspective? Do you think how, uh, how feasible is it to get American cities to do the kind of thing that French cities are, are more open to? Um, I think that uh, uh, I'm not sure that uh, the city now are um, uh, able to do such a big uh, investment uh, to uh, to do a, a very uh, so a new underground or or uh, deploy a lot of energy in a new mass transit system and so on. Even if uh, uh, create new bus line is not very expensive. Uh, uh, my my feeling is more that uh, uh, we um, the city should create the infrastructure to uh, to um, to welcome all the new transportation mode that uh, appearing uh, today so some will say some will die for yes, sure yeah. but but there is a really a, a lot of uh, of uh, there is a lot of new services and uh, a lot of creativity uh, so we can share your car and uh, and uh, i really think that uh, uh, this is the way things will evolve even, even if we are just at the beginning <laughs> and it's a little of a mess. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, yeah, this is a, a, probably the, more, uh, the less expensive way for city to um, uh, create something. So we, we've, talked, we've talked about France, we've talked about uh, the US, but you, you guys are in Brazil, you're, you're in um, Spain, you're in Italy. Um, mm. how, how would you characterize those markets? Where, where are you seeing the traction in those markets? In Brazil, we equipped all the bus stops of the city of Rio de Janeiro uh, during the Olympic Games uh, with the QR code NFC and Beacons. So this is a, uh, an interesting service. Uh, not so easy Brazil in uh, today uh, in terms of uh, business development. Yes. Um, I would say that uh, for sure uh, North America is a big market where there is a lot of move uh, on the transportation. So it's a very uh, uh, great opportunity for connect things to be in. And uh, in Europe, I think that um, uh, Europe is still very fragmented. So uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, country is uh, like an effort to 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 enter. But if you take all the the country you mentioned, Italy, Spain, Portugal, mm -hmm. uh, and France, uh, for us it's a, it's a one one market with a more or less the same um, I would say attraction. And then you have uh, the UK, which is uh, uh, quite different. And uh, uh, yes, it's, uh, so it's interesting. This is a, a country where we just uh, uh, we start in 2012, and then we, we, we stop, and then we restart now because yes. there is a, there is there is a market for sure. Uh, it's just uh, the, 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 you have to put a lot of energy to to enter this. So we are prepared with this. Very good. So you're not put off by the fact that we seem to be trying to sever all ties with Europe. You're going to give us, uh, you're still going to uh, um, do business with us. Mm. That's good. Um, so uh, what about indoors? So I think you have a very distinctive pos position with your focus on public transport, but I think you also uh, are competing in markets like shopping centers and airports. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, what uh, what are the use cases that you are seeing uh, get traction in those venues, uh, um, and, and how? Uh, what do you see the competitive landscape? I see a lot of people focusing on shopping centres for sure. Mm. What Connecting is doing is really to collect co collect a, a, a moment in the city. So this guy is entering the subway. This guy is waiting at the bus stop. This this guy is entering the stadium. This guy is uh, in the stadium, and, and this kind of information. Then we collect it mm -hmm. and we repurpose it to the mobile application. Mm -hmm. So if you take, for example, uh, FC Barcelona is a customer of ConnectThings, we work with them. Uh, what interests them is uh, to, to provide different experience when people are using the app during uh, uh, a football match, when they are in the stadium, or when they are in a, a bar, for example, or when they are at home. So we provide this kind of information so they can uh, decide how, uh, what experience they, they, they want to provide to their uh, user. Because it's not the same if you are in the stadium or if you are uh, at home. 
Mm -hmm. So um, this is what we do. So you can do that through using beacons that you deploy in the stadium, but mm -hmm. it's not really where we are because uh, uh, indoor beacons, it's uh, a lot for geolocation and so on. We don't do that. Uh, we will use uh, uh, the beacon or the geofencing in the stadium to detect that someone is in the stadium at that time and then to provide this, this information uh, so the, 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 the content of the application or of the notification can be um, um, customized uh, on the, uh, knowing that information. So, and what have you learned over the last decade in terms of the keys to getting uh, cities to invest? It's, you talked about the fact it's a long sales cycle, but then you have a long relationship. But um, uh, no one likes spending money. What, what's the ROI that you point to that gets people from kind of interest to investment? So, I think it, uh, so, to be frank, it's a very hard market, so uh, that's what I said, because it takes uh, a lot of time and uh, it's uh, not so easy to be scalable uh, when you, you rely uh, just on uh, selling to the city. So for me, uh, when, uh, so it's uh, anyway, uh, uh, to work for a city or with city, to partner with city is very, well, from, from my point of view, it's very interesting. Uh, there is a lot to do to, to, to um, uh, make the, the life easier, smarter, and, and mm -hmm. so on. So I think that uh, people that want to enter uh, um, the city, provide city services, need to have a, 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 a business model where they, they make money in another way. <laughs> right. So this is like uh, the outdoor advertising. So people, they, 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 the outdoor uh, advertising, they provide billboard and uh, bus shelter. Yes. So uh, for the for the user, it's uh, you you know where is the bus stop and uh, you have a shelter if it's raining. So it's it's a service to the city. Oh, okay. um, but in the, 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 the way they make money, it's not by selling shelter to the city. Right. It's really uh, thanks to the advertising. So for me, uh, to, to be successful uh, in working with city, must, uh, you must add uh, something else to your business model. Yes. So, so it sounds like a, a part of your revenue comes from, from advertising and you, and you share that revenue with the city. Is that Am I reading that uh, so, so it's not advertising, but it's just to uh, to provide a better user exper experience inside their, their application uh, uh, itself. So those, uh, it's better for the end uh, user because you receive a notification at a good point of time. It's better for the for the uh, uh, mobile application because then they, they create a real in engagement with their user and maybe can sell something else. So this is a way. Uh, connection uh, is uh, making money. Wonderful. Well, Leticia, thanks so much for spending uh, time with us. I know that you've got bad weather over there in New York, so I appreciate that you made it in and you're, you've, you've joined us. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. So the idea is you're going to Mars, you can only take three songs. What would the three songs be that you would be happy to listen to? Uh, so, uh, it's a good question. So I think that honestly, I, I will uh, take with me, um, I love opera. All right. I love opera and I think that uh, 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 my most favorite, uh, Opéra is Les Noces de Figaro. Okay. Mozart. Mozart, yes. And uh, there is one song that I, I'd like, I'd love to, to, to take with me, yeah. is uh, one of uh, Cherubin, and that says, uh, uh, the title is uh, um, You That Know What Is Love. Okay. <laughs> so, wonderful. So, and that's, it's a wonderful mu uh, music song. Okay. Um, Another one, it will be also classical music, it's uh -huh. uh, Vival Vivaldi. Yes. Uh, and uh, they have a religious, he has a, a religious, um, uh, he, he composed religious um, uh, music, uh, and the name of one of them is Nisi Dominus. Okay. And it's a, it's a voice, voice of men, but uh, like a uh, castra. You know, okay. and so it's, a, it's also something that I'm sure that I will uh, bring on Mars. 
Okay, so you're in, um, the, in the spacecraft. You're going to feel like there's a lot of people there with you because you've got this big chorus singing, right? Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. And it's a lot of. Uh, it gives you a lot of power, and uh, yes, and uh, <laughs> very inspiring song. Fantastic. Because it, you need to be inspired to, to be, to live in on Mars. Yes, so. indeed. And so you got one left. What's what's your third? Um, the last one, yes, so it would be uh, the most contemporary uh, music. It will be um, Daft Punk. Oh, and, uh, and this is, uh, yes, I, I, I will take the, 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 the song uh, Get Lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's a great and then, song. Yeah. And then I think I've got uh, good, uh, good music with me. <laughs> Well, wonderful. That's great. Great choices. Thank you for indulging us in our little uh, thing. And uh, it's always good to hear what people, uh, what, what, what kind of gets them going. So that's good.